AFTV tie. Happy today? Yeah, 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 very happy. Good performance. Disappointed about conceding two goals, but a win is a win. This should have been about 5 0. But, you know, mm. it's, it was like a pre season friendly, if we're honest, but we've got the points. You're saying you didn't rate Vorsler? No, 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 I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying it was like a pre season friendly. That's all. Because uh, no one knows about them. I'm, I'm, me and Claude were. Me and Cool are talking about it. You don't know who they are. So I'm not saying they scored two goals, didn't they? Mm. And their fans went crazy. So I'm not saying I didn't rate them. I'm just saying that it was just like a preseason friendly. It was Do you like this competition? Um, obviously not the Champions League, but it's still something. I mean, Troops has got <laughs> an interesting point about going to Azerbaijan. But, you know, there's a lot of places that carry back that we wouldn't ordinarily go Did to. you used to diss them lot down the road? <laughs> When they were playing on a Thursday night. <laughs> Did you used to play here yeah, Thursday night? No, no, no. Channel no. 5. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> it's, I mean, did you? Because <laughs> I know I did. And then now I'm starting to see. Oh, you did? I'm starting to see what they used to see, man. This is not the greatest of competitions, is it? No, 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 I didn't know. You know, I'm, I, don't, I don't really diss unless, unless I provoked it. So it's, it's not Channel 5, it's, um, it's ITV4 now, is it, I think. Um. And 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 thank you and BT Sport, but I don't know. Did I dis? No, no, really. I didn't think it would happen. But we mm. had 20 straight years. Listen, if it's a way into the Champions League, you need to take it. It's not the best, but then it's not the worst because you still have a chance. And you're mm. going to places. You're playing teams that you've never played before, and you might possibly never play again. So it's it's an eye open, isn't it? Because if, okay. if we want to be in the Champions League, we have to make sure that we are not in the position we are mm. now. All right, listen, rain's starting to come down, so I'm going to start asking some people this. Because this has been the big talking point of this week. It's been an easy yeah, win tonight, yeah. but Gazid is going. Yeah. Me what have you made out? Me and Claude um, talked about that as well. I, it's interesting. It's, it's a weird one. Because Arsene is gone, unfortunately. And now he's gone, so it's a weird one. But, listen, to chat to, he was all right. He was humble, down to earth. He's all right. He's made a contribution. Did he do anything so. good for this club, though? Yeah, I think he did. What? I think he did. Bringing in players, winning a bit of trophies. I suppose Troops is right, we underachieved. But he did, he did, he did something, he's, he's, he's made a contribution, so I ain't going to diss it. Okay, okay. Gazidis, you, you're glad he's gone or sad? It's a bit of both, isn't it? Like, it is what it is, isn't it? He's gone, he's gone, isn't it? What can we say, innit? Like Wenger, innit? Troops just said it, I swear, like two down, one to go, innit? So you're, you're not unhappy that he's gone? No, not really. It's like Trucci said, he's, look, he's, ru he's ruined this club, and the only thing I think he has done like, was bought a Bama Yang. Like, do you know what I mean? But now he's going over to AC Milan. Was well, he going to ruin them too? What about you? I mean, to be honest with you, glad he's gone. To be honest with you, the only, the only success that he's made from this club is getting a Bama Yang. Apart from that, now he can go off to Italy, uh, go and splash out on Ferraris, go crash them as well at one time. Oh, yeah, and get drunk off one. So, good luck to him. Wow. Um, on the whole, I think it's pretty good, like, because he just gone, because... Um, for the past year, I think he's done a lot of contribution, to be fair, in terms of like um, building the club structure, like the three men, like um, Mr. Tat, you've got um, Emery here. Um, at the same time, you cannot forget that, like a year before, um, he was kind of keeping Wenger um, in, under the realm. So um, I think that's not really too good for... Um, so are you happy or sad that he's leaving? Predominantly happy because of what he's done in the past year. But we do have to give credit to Tim for what he's done in the past year okay. uh, and uh, leaving Emery with us. And, and let's see what happens with him at AC Milan because like, he, he didn't really make Arsenal great again. So let's see if he can make Milan great again. Okay. Yeah. I think Gazidis. I think Gazidis has done okay for the club. We should wish him good luck, good etc. He bought quite a few people behind the scenes. The transition did not start when Wenger left. The transition took place when Stan Kroenke's son came in and did an assessment of what was going on in the club. And from that, we bought these people in from Barcelona. The director... The so, so it wasn't Gazidis? It wasn't Gazidis. Gazidis... So what's he done then? Gazidis has provided stability and he's provided a link between Kroenke and Wenger and given Wenger the freedom to run the club for many years. Yeah, but that wasn't a great thing, was it? That wasn't a great thing. However, what people don't see is Gazidis is gone, okay, Wenger's gone, we've got a new era. Don't underestimate the fact that Kroenke now owns the whole club. 
Mm. It was really sad for me to sell my four shares. Four shares in Arsenal have gone. Never in Arsenal's history have we been owned by one single person. That is not a good sign. We don't know, it might be okay. But we've always had four or five people in this boardroom that owned Arsenal. This is a very big transition. If the manager delivers, fine. Tonight, Iwobi, he's been benched and off for a few games. He's sharpened up, man of a match. I would start the next game with the back five. Give them confidence, let them go. They were quite solid. It all depended on the opposition. If the opposition started the last 25 minutes in the first half, we don't know what might have happened. Okay. We don't. We underrate them, but okay. signs are good. Let's go. I'm gonna. Is the rain starting to come down? So yeah. I'm gonna leave. A, yeah. I'm gonna leave a last word with you. Okay. Right. I'm gonna, do, do you want to say something? All right. Gazidis. Um, Happy. Sad. To be honest with you, I don't really feel either. Like I think if we want to move past this era that we've just been in, these, these last 15 years, I think if we really want to move past that, we need to leave. Bazid is behind. We've left Wenger, we've changed the coaching staff, we've changed the medical staff, we've got Raul Sanelli, we've got, we've got new people in charge now. I think really it's just time to, to look forward into the future and let's just hope that, that Josh, if, if Josh is rumoured to, to take over like they say he is, that he's got the, the right ideas in, in mind and that he's going to take us forward. Really. That's it. Gazidis, glad he's going or sad? Uh, I'm happy he's going because like he sold Alexis Sanchez, which was obviously a bad thing. Uh, I know he had like difficulties with like keeping him, and obviously his con contract ran down. But he should be sorting out in the first place. Uh, also, like with RVP as well, selling RVP he made all like especially to Man United of all people, he could have sold him to someone in Europe. So, but yeah, that's obviously a negative. Uh, We're glad to see the back of him. Yeah, Tw twelve years too late. Yeah. yeah, I think so. He should have gone with Wenger. Yeah. He should have gone with Wenger. I think it, both of them just ruined each other. They won't compliment each other. Like, you think one time we was okay, and then things just went downhill. That's when, as soon as it started to go downhill, that's when they both go. But they left it way too long. I think the, uh, the, the positive thing about it now is the, is the new manager. I think he's going to bring some stability to it. The two losses at the start of the season, I think we needed to do that. Like Ozil running, walk, walking about, admiring his passes. Yeah. I think personally, he's, he's probably had a word of him, told him, if you don't buck up by the next game, I'm not going to have it. The next game he played, Ozil still plays shy. By the third game, he dropped him, played against West Ham. Yeah. We, we won, we didn't need him. I reckon he's then said to him, look, look we don't need you. Do you know what I mean? Look, yeah. you know, this is <coughs> now all of a sudden Ozil's running about. He's not admiring his passes. So I think the manager is going to bring some different stability to it. Do you know what I mean? It's going to over, it's going to over, over, overshadow that. Because he just go in. Oh, honestly, just happy to see Gazidis gone. I mean, we don't hear too much about it in Oz. We don't know as much as you guys are coming into it. But from what I can see, I mean, there's a positive change. It's There's a lot of good air around. And the, and the main thing is going to be that going forward, whether we like it or not, he was a cog in a system that is old. And we need to move forward. We need to bring fresh ideas, just fresh people. He might have been good at his job, but at the end of the day, to progress forward, you need to kind of get rid of everything that's somewhat contaminated. And that's where we're moving to now. So good luck to him. Good luck to him at AC Milan. It's a big club and I hope he does really well. And you've got to love what he did at Arsenal because business-wise, he did so well. But it is what it is. He's on his way. And let's just put all our focus on supporting the team now. Four on the trot. Mate, we can go somewhere, hopefully. So. Great way to round it up. I can't say no more. Gazidis is on his way out. We move on.